Hey guys, welcome back to the Lily Knits YouTube channel. If you're tired of using garter stitch edging for your shawls, then you're going to love this technique of beginning your shawls with an I-cord tab so that you can add an I-cord edge to your shawl. And if you don't know what an I-cord edge is, it's just a smooth, thick edge worked over the first and last three stitches of every row. The first three stitches are knit and the last three stitches are slipped purlwise with the yarn in front. And this creates a beautiful clean looking edge that adds stability to stockinette stitch projects so that they can lay flat. You'd want to use an I-cord tab when you're knitting a top down shawl that begins with just a few stitches and then grows in size with every row. So if you were to just cast on the required number of stitches, then there would be an unfinished gap at the top of the shawl in between the edge stitches. So you can see in this picture that the I-cord tab covers the middle stitches as well as the edge stitches so that there's a continuous edge all along the top of the shawl. To make your I-cord tab, you're going to need a pair of knitting needles. I'm using circular knitting needles with a 32 inch cord so that I can continue knitting my shawl with the needles. And what you want to do is hold the knitting needles so that they're pointing to the left and then make a slip knot and attach it to the top needle. Then you take your yarn and wrap it around the needles three times. So you have three loops. This, this slip knot, you want to ignore that because we're going to pull it out at the end. We're just using it to secure the stitches right now. So you turn your knitting needles and you knit into those three loops that you just made, being careful not to let go of your yarn that you're working with. So I'm going to knit three stitches, one, two, and three. So now what we're going to do is because an I-cord is created by knitting the stitches on one side and then slipping them purlwise with the yarn in front on the other side, we're going to do this by slipping the stitches onto the other needle and then that's row two because when we start row three it's as if we had slipped the stitches purlwise already and then the yarn is in front of them. So now we're doing row three, which is just knitting the stitches again. So this time I'll throw the yarn to show you. So that's our third row. And then again, for our fourth row, we just want to slip the, the stitches with the uh, yarn in front, which means we're just going to slip them onto the opposite needle. That would be row four. And then now we're going to knit them again for row five. So this is the part of the I-cord tab that's going to cover the stitches in the middle of the edge stitches. So for the shawl that I'm making here, there's three stitches in between the edge stitches. So this will cover that, that will be on top of them in between the edge stitches so that there isn't an empty space there and the whole top of the shawl looks finished with the same edging as the sides. So now I'm just slipping the stitches back onto the other needle and then that's row six. And now that we have six rows, that will cover the three center stitches of the shawl. So for this shawl, there's a nine stitch I-cord tab because there's three edge stitches on each side and then three central stitches. So now we can begin the first row of the shawl, which is connecting the three edge stitches on each side and the middle stitches to create the initial nine stitches that the shawl requires. So the first step in connecting the stitches is to knit the first three stitches that are on the left hand needle, just like you would if you were doing a row seven. And then we're going to work into these three stitches on top. So we insert our knitting needle into the stitches. One, two, three. 
like that. And then, so now we have six stitches and then we're gonna, the stitches that were on the cord from the provisional cast on we'd made, we're gonna slip those back onto the knitting needle on the left. So you can see the slip knot, just slip it off and pull it out. And then you can knit the next three stitches. So now you have your nine stitch I-cord tab. So the first three stitches are the first three edge stitches of the row. And then the middle three stitches are the middle part of the row, which is gonna keep expanding with every row. And then the last three stitches are the three edge stitches at the end of the row. And now you can begin knitting your shawl with an I-cord that covers the middle three stitches as well. And if you're looking for a pattern that uses an I-cord tab and I-cord edging to make a shawl, you can find the free pattern for the shawl that is featured in this video on the Lily Knits website, and I've linked to it in the description below. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel for more helpful knitting videos and tutorials.